Hey folks, today we are showing you how to make these amazing millionaire shortbread cupcakes. Yes, hey folks, this is a recipe we have uploaded to a new community called We Bake. Yes, now this is a community that rewards you for baking. Reward, rewarded for baking? What? Like a star and stuff? Yes. That's amazing. Like, you get rewarded for making cake and... You, and eating it. You eat it. The first baking social media platform that celebrates baking but also coaches and motivates bakers to do more of what they love. And that's for bakers of any level, right, Mrs Barry? Yes. I mean, some people are... Um, a bit better at baking than others. We don't get competitive, do we? No. Oh, Mrs. Barry is better than me. You guys know that. <laughs> I know. I'm trying. Create your own profile and follow other bakers and it offers useful advice and fun inspiration as well as great challenges and rewards. Imagine a mix between Facebook and Instagram but with just 100% <laughs> baking content. So some of you baking fans out there are going to love it. Sounds like a perfect it's social media. The home of cake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the first community challenge we're taking part in is the Cupcake <gasps> Champion Challenge. Uh, I feel like I should say cage match on the end. I should wear like a wrestling outfit or something. But these beauties are in there. And if you don't get involved, we're going to win, which is awesome. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just a basic little cupcake, really. It is. It's super easy, but we've added some daring decorations. Mm, makes it look better than it actually is. But honestly, they are, it's amazing. You're going to love these. So first up, grab yourself a large mixing bowl and this is going to be your mothership for the make of these cupcakes. Where it all happens. Yes. You're going to add in your room temperature butter followed by your sugar and then cream it together until it's light and fluffy. Oh, use an electric whisk for that. It does mm. help. And then the next step is to chuck in three eggs. Chuck. We're not going to well, chuck in three eggs. You just Place them in straight from a chicken's bum, optional. Um, just get them from, from the store. <laughs> Add the eggs in there. Again, whisking it. Was that funny? I just told a joke. The kids laughed. That was funny. <laughs> yes, I'll pay you in a minute. <laughs> so get all those eggs in there. Give it a darn good beat together. And be sure to uh, scrape down your sides. Yes, you don't want to leave any sides behind. So you to want get out of the bowl. Must you want any eggless mixture. You want it all nice and eggy. Sift in your flour, followed by... It's worth saying that while you were sifting, I had quite an excited face. Sorry yes. about that. I've not been that excited about <laughs> sifting before. Followed by a teaspoon of baking powder. So you want to get that all in there, make it all folded. Get it all incorporated yes. together. Make sure there's no flour or baking powder yes. left in. Any residue all together until it's nice and smooth again. Next up, uh, we add in our chocolate chips. Now, these are chocolate chips mixed with a little bit of flour, and we didn't know that. No, which is the no. benefit of community, right? Because Yes, mixing them with flour apparently yeah. um, stops the chocolate chips sinking to the bottom of your cupcakes. Now, yeah. one of you guys told us that, so mm. thank you very much. That's really great to get some um, advice and tips from other bakers. Yeah, thank you. the power of community. With the batter to one side, you're going to mix together your cocoa powder with some boiling water to form a kind of like pasty thing, um, which, although it is cocoa powder, you get addicted did you think, oh, I'm excited about that. Mrs. Barry did go down that route. I don't I think did. I caught that on camera, but she was like... I did try a bit. Everyone likes to lick the bowl, right? And yeah. I thought, oh, this is going to be tasty. It's chocolate. I forgot it's kind of dark cocoa oh. powder that you're meant to just add into cakes to make the cakes taste nice. Yeah, and it, it was very... Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Yeah, it no. did go in our batter and it did look good. It was all marbly <laughs> once we went through it first, yeah. looking absolutely gorgeous. You want to swim in there, get it a nice consistent colour again. And don't, don't, don't eat it. No, don't. Get some cupcake cases as modelled by these lovely two on screen now. Yeah, I don't know who they are, but I don't think, uh, well, cupcake casing modelling is not our fault. I think I'm going to be more of a hand model, uh, if anything. So uh, get that batter evenly divided into those cupcake cases and then slide them and bake them in the oven for how long, Mrs B? Uh, 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, until springy to touch. And then all you're going to do is leave them to cool down fully on a wire rack. Meanwhile, we can make our awesome mm. buttercream. For the buttercream, tip some room temperature butter into a bowl and beat it together with a wooden spoon. Yeah, that way it kind of clings and grasps. Another tip that you guys have given us as well, because we were getting like a cloud, <laughs> a <laughs> shower <laughs> of icing sugar shower. Uh, but so by doing that, by doing it by hand as well, it helps yeah. control a little bit more. So gradually add all the icing sugar in there with the butter until it's merged. Add in your milk, followed by your vanilla extract. Oh yes, mix that through to get that flavour fully merged in there. You could actually use caramel extract as well, but that might take it a little overboard today. It's all about cooking with confidence and experimentation, right? Yeah, I've definitely found that. Since I started this journey mm -hmm. with you, um, the more I've decorated cakes and the more I've made them, the more confident I have become. Yeah, plus if it doesn't work out, you can try again and you get cake. Yes. And also, if it doesn't work out for you, she gets uh, yeah, me get to, do to do it. it. <laughs> when it comes to coring the cupcakes, 
We're not doing that today. That's right, we're using some Dr. Oetker Easy Fill Cake Centers to push it into our sponge and pump it full of filling. This one being salted caramel flavor, which complements the millionaire shortbread theme amazingly. Sprinkle on top some bashed up biscuits. Oh yeah, let top. it rain. Raining with breadcrumbs, baby. <laughs> oh, not breadcrumbs, that's Mary Poppins. Biscuit crumbs. Biscuit crumbs, yes. With that buttercream pushed into your piping bag, swirl on your buttercream and then shove in a millionaire shortbread. Why not? <gasps> Looking good. Little final rain of biscuit crumbs on top. Mm. And Delicious. They are all done. So there you have it. We've just posted this recipe on our We Bake profile so you can make this at home. So go over there and check it out now. Become a We Bake member and don't forget mm. to take part in the Cupcake Champion Challenge. Cage match. Uh, because if you don't, we're going to win it. Yes. And the prize is actually pretty cool. It's a trip to London and a visit to some baking hot spots. So uh, give it a go and do try out this recipe too. As always, please send us a picture. But that's it, folks. We will see you next time. Can I eat this now? Oh no, my millionaire oh, shortbread fell out. I get to eat that. Oh. In fact, I'll go eat it all. Save some for me. <gasps> uh -huh. See ya. Bye.